We all do it as parents, right? We bribe our kids, whether it's M&Ms for the potty training or buying them something in return for good behavior. It always leaves parents asking, should I be doing this? Is this right? In today's Mom Squad Pod, I talked to University Hospital psychologist Dr. Felipe Amunategui about the right way to incentivize your kids. So what's the overarching principle here? If we want to promote self-management and little people they get older, right? And, and, and we understand that <laughs> whether we put thought of it or not, things happen on a day-to-day basis that motivate us all to do stuff. I mean, think about it. If you didn't get a paycheck, will you continue to go to work? I'm not going to answer that on Zoom, but uh, right, right, <laughs> it, right. Is, it right. is an incentive. <laughs> right, right. Is that a bribe or is it an incentive? You know, it depends on how you look at it. Yeah. It depends on the perspective. It's also depending on the intent on where or how it's used. Also, not in, all incentives are created equal. For example, let's say you want to incentivize academic effort, achievement, right? Because the kid doesn't like, doesn't come naturally, and you do like a lot of parents and said, look, I'm going to give you X amount of money for Y grade. Generally, what I've seen is that that does not motivate the child because it's too remote. Dr. Amunatagin and I talked about the importance of setting up expectations for your child, establishing a daily routine and what responsibilities they have. And then if they don't meet those expectations, how to hold them accountable. And if they achieve their goals, how to reward them. There was a lot to talk about. He is brilliant. You can download the Mom Squad Pod anywhere you get your podcasts. But it's just that that guilt factor that oh. a lot of us have where we're like, oh, man, I Parent can't tell, like tell my kid they get to watch a movie if they do this or whatever. But, I mean, he makes a great point about when to incentivize and when it, it just doesn't make sense to them and then you're just spoiling them. So yeah. he does a good job of explaining that fine line. And he says it's a fine line. He had a lot of great examples, too, like with schoolwork. And yeah. I may or may not be guilty when it comes to sports <laughs> every once in a while to get that, you know, <laughs> and, uh, that but it's, extra it's lift. But it's a goal. It's a goal. It's and a that's, goal. What I may, that's what I loved about him saying, would you go to work if you weren't getting a paycheck? It's like... That's how you have to think about it with kids, too. But he says the most important base and foundation is having those expectations. You tell them what you expect them to do, yeah. and then they can, if they achieve it, then they get there. And he said, like, that's how you allocate screen time. That's what he, he recommends is if they want to play a video game, you get 15 minutes more. If they disobey, you take it away. Yeah, that's a good one, mm -hmm. especially these days. Yeah. I'd like Can he come to my house? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially when screen time, I'm so guilty right now of like, oh, it's snowing just watching a movie. I know. We all are. We if all he are came now. to my house right now, I might ask him to help me shovel first. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, fair. Very fair.